Hi guys, this is Will again. Uh, this right here is my uh, next review. Actually, it's not really uh, uh, a new review. Actually, it's kind of like a recap of a previous review that I've done. What happened, I've done a review and uh, it started off from here when I was talking about the lighting system of the curios. And when I got to the statue room, uh, the first curio I had is more like a, a older school one. It doesn't have the more advanced like housing lighting system in it where you can kind of see uh, what's in it uh, through like a camcorder. Uh, so it's like it came out like a little dark, so uh, I wasn't really happy with it. So I figured out just to redo it over again. Now we use like artificial lighting to kind of help me out where you're able to see it a lot better. Uh, so that's why I just decided to redo the whole thing over again. So to kind of get uh, straight to it, uh, these are like my four, four curios. I bought these from a store that's going out of business. Um, actually, they have uh, four. Housing lighting uh, bulbs in them. Uh, they're about like maybe 55 watts each. Uh, it's a nice curio. Uh, it has uh, locking cabinets at the bottom. Uh, one feature that I did like with those, with the locking cabinets uh, doors at the bottom, is that uh, like a lot of times you buy uh, certain statues, and the statues uh, they may have interchangeable arms and hands and heads. And a lot of times you know you may put it back in. You may pick the the pose that you want, and you may have the extra accessories, you probably put them back in a box that it came in, you probably put it in storage or somewhere like that, the attic or basement. Uh, so with this, it gives me an edge up, whereas I can, you know, put the the accessories in like a shoe box or something, and then friends come over, and they're curious how the other poles look. You know, I have them all right there in the shoe box, you know, boom, boom, take them out, put them on there, let them see how the other, you know, uh, poses, you know, look, and it's all good. That's something I always wanted, something I can kind of get too quick, and close, and then I won't lose. So you know, I, I do. I do love that added bonus that it does give me. Uh, the shelves itself is uh, thick. Uh, I can hold up to about maybe a 35 pound statue. Uh, the average statue probably weighs anywhere between maybe six or 10 pounds at the most. Uh, so that's a you know good durability. Uh, also, uh, it's highly polished glass, uh, which I love. It looks uh, you know mostly with highly, highly polished glass, it tends to be a lot more brilliant. Uh, the, when you have something in it displaying it, the only drawback from it sometimes outside of the light source tends to kind of bounce back off of it, so you know, tends to be highly reflective, also. Uh, but other than that, it's um, you know, I, I love the cabinets, they're great. Uh, one major thing I wanted to do when I did have them was to create something like uh, a lighting effect that I won't have to do the old traditional plugging in, you know, the, the, the curio, uh, you know, like cord. Or either uh, you know having a bend on steel and turn on the off and on switch on it. So what I, uh, what I've done, like what I told you before, and everything was like the uh, wireless uh, controller switch, uh, which you can pick up at any uh, like Home Depot, Home Improvement Store, uh, Lowe's, uh, even Menards. Uh, with this one, it, come, it came with the uh, wireless controller. What it is, this is the wireless controller. It also has a receiver. Uh, this has like a little antenna on it. And it has like a plug. And you would plug like the curio plug into that. So that's to give you an idea how the system works. So it, it relays off this with the off and on function. It hits the receiver, the receiver knows when to cut it on and off because you know of, of the control. So that's basically how the system really works for you to get an idea. You know, it could also work good too if you have like just using shelving and you just use lights on shelving. You know, it's a real cool feature. And I love it. That's why I like I put it in my statue room. The cut down on the expense of bending all down, trying to find the wires and all that. So, you know, it's like a cool feature just to, you know, sit up there and just cut it off like that. And, you know, then, you know, like you bring your friends in and then, you know, they all looking around. Then, you know, booyah, you know, and whoo, you know, so, <laughs> so it was a cool feature with that, you know, because, uh, you know, I, I do get like a, a lot of compliments off of it, you know. So, um, it's a cool feature to have me uh, and Mark Gorilla and uh, Kevin from Robot Online. We talk a lot about displaying. And uh, features similar to things like this you know, when we talk about curios and lighting, uh, especially uh, a matter of fact, me and Mark were talking about it, and uh, he says one thing he's trying to get into uh, to work on his lighting thing. So it's a big must, and it does help you a lot out and it makes your collection, you know, stands out a lot better. Also, so you know, something to think about, you know, when you guys, when y'all, you know, doing your thing <coughs> or setting up your statue room. So, but anyway, I guess that's about it. Um, see any other things? Uh, oh yeah, um, uh, Ray, I'd like to congratulate you and your country of uh, Canada 
from kicking the U.S.'s ass. <laughs> it was a good win. Well, me and Ray, you know, I had I was goofing with him uh, when uh, the U.S. had uh, uh, beat Canada. So I kind of goofed around a little bit, and then you know, like uh, you know, second round they came back and they beat us. So, but I did, you know, email him. I told him congratulations. You know, that's a lot, especially uh, when your country is hosting an Olympic, uh, not to win. So you know, that shows a lot of heart of the Canadian team uh, to come back and win. You know, give them nothing but you know, big ups on that one. So, you know, you know, congratulations guys, y'all deserve it. Uh, as a matter of fact, <coughs> uh, it's kind of funny, like, uh, <laughs> about an hour from now, uh, we're supposed to, uh, go down, uh, downtown. Oh, uh, that's, uh, where Chicago Stadium at. Because three of the Canadian players, they play on the Blackhawks, which, you know, is a, you know, Chicago Blackhawks, our team, you know, our own, uh, NHL team. And uh, about a thousand uh, Chicagoans were going down there to, uh, to give them a good welcome back uh, party uh, for the treasonous deeds that they've done to us. Uh, but I guess like they said, uh, no deed uh, goes unpunished. So uh, we are going to get our little equipment together, uh, go down there and give them a good welcome. Uh, hard to believe what these guys have done to us. They have no sense of loyalty. Uh, the city that feeds them. And this is the uh, respect that we give them. Oh no. But it's all good though. Get them a good uh, Chicago style. Uh, welcome back home party. Hope I don't get down there too late. But it's not too much left uh, for me. But I'll be putting out uh, uh, my next videos. To be, you know, uh, coming out uh, soon. So I hope you guys y'all enjoyed this one. And uh the next one. Can't forget the Chicago typewriter. The next one will be coming out soon. So uh I guess I'll be seeing you guys a little later. Peace out.